Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today we've got a couple of things going on. We've got Forever Homes from the last couple of days. So I'm going to show you who's got Forever Homes and stuff like that. We're meant to be having a rescue coming in today as well. Um, so that'd be nice when we find out what that is and when it comes. And, sorry, the Exo Territory is Boeing. Yes, she's Boeing. So we need to put a support beam in the middle because I don't want it to snap on us and collapse all the tanks. So that's going to be quite important for us today. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, Forever Homes on first. So you can see he's gone to their Forever Homes. And then we're going to try and stop the Exo Territory from collapsing. Then hopefully we should have the uh, rescue animal arrive. Fingers crossed, we'll see how we get on. So let's crack on with the day. Waha. We've got a forever home. Oh, we've got our little corny going to a forever home. Let's so see if we can get her boxed up, put her in a tub, and away she goes. Okay, darling, where are you? She's in the bushes. Yeah, bushwicky. Yeah, bushwicky. There you go, darling. Nicely down into the box. Come on, into the box. There we go. No, not out the box. This might be a two-handed job. Ah, snaky. Come on, stay in the box for me, please. There you go. Keep all hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. Lovely job. Guess who's getting the forever home? Where's he? Where's he gone? He's up to way. There he is. Mr. Mr. Camo Patman finally get himself a forever home. Look how big he is. We do some scale. He is a big froggy. He is. Ain't you, my boy? Yeah? Oh. Okay then, mate. See you in a bit. Have a good life at your new home. This is the Exo Territory. And if you look, that's not level at all. She's proper leaning inwards. So. That's what it should be like. You can see it's moving. So, we're gonna have to put, I can't get one in the middle of here. I could maybe try and move these a tiny bit either side to maybe put a fin beam up, which we could maybe look at doing. What I'd have to do is adjust some of these, that, that top piece there is stopping it going a little bit further over. So we could do that, maybe try and get something thin down there. Um, but I think the main one is getting one in this back area, right in the middle, um, just to try and support, support it. Because otherwise, if this cracks, it's gonna, these two are gonna hit this tank, and then this tank then, well, if it falls through here, it's all gonna land on these, and God knows what's gonna happen. So we need to get it done today. It was okay yesterday, I've come in this morning and it's leaning, it's proper leaning today. So, I think we best jump on it and do it first. That means we need the big saw, we need a piece of wood, a uh, tape measure and pen. So I remember, because it's, it's really easy size, it's two foot. So I've just got to mark out two foot, cut the log, log, beam, piece of wood, and then uh, put it in and hopefully it's enough to lift up the back and the front. What I don't want is it to start twisting. Uh, see how we get on. So this is the fin beam I've got. It would work, because we'll be using it uh, the thickest way. So if you use a piece of wood this way, it's not as strong as if you use it this way, because it's got less chance of it actually snapping. Um, so, we've got this one, or we could use one of these pieces here as a big upright for the back. I think that's gonna be the best option. So we do, I have to do a couple of cuts on this because that is not level at all. Nope. What's the other end like? Lovely, we cut from there. Whoop, that's nice and straight. We cut from there, cut two foot down, and we can put that in the back. Then we can see if we can get one in the front and then I'll be happy.
I've got, well, I've got our two pieces, sort of, and it's jumped out my hand. So, this is the one that would go down here if we can get the tanks to move over enough. Uh, I don't know if we can, but we're gonna give it a go. This bad boy is the one for the back. We should just be able to slide this one in and get an idea if it's gonna fit for us. Slider in. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna work lovely, I think. So we'll make sure we end on any wires. Any better? Not quite, still a little bit. That one's okay, it's these two. This side's going. Uh, that's a little bit on the skew that is. We get that one straight, I'll try and move these across. So once I get that back one the way I want it, we're gonna screw it in. But this one, what I've done, is I've slightly angled the top. So, because what happens is, you see, the glass is, oh, let me turn it. So the glass is one level and then the plastic sticks out a bit more. So down there I've got the same thing. But if I do a little divot like that, we should be able to go straight past it all and straight down like that. Lovely. The only thing we've got to do now is there's a block of wood there so we're going to have to come in behind this block of wood. So we're going to have to go right back and then pull it forward. Oh, one way I have to do is push up and then pull it in. Uh, we're, we're not far off, it's working a treat. Now that looks a lot straighter. Just do this last pull in, get it as tall as I can, and I think that's gonna be nice and steady. Oh, I think we got it. This one doesn't look quite parallel, so it's coming off at a slight angle. So I'm gonna have to work out where's the right bit, which bit's in the right spot, and which bit isn't, and then align them both right. Well, I'm gonna screw this back beam in. I'm gonna leave it loose at the bottom. So uh, I can jig it around if I need to. I'm just gonna put a nice screw in the top to hold it in place. That thin beam, if I put a screw in it, I'm gonna split it, because it's so thin. Um, well, I mean, I could pre-drill it, but it's a lot of work, and I gotta move the tanks and stuff. So unless I have any problems, I'll move it then. Um, but I'll get this sorted, but I don't know where this bloke is with this rescue. He was meant to be here at one o'clock, and it's like half two. So I'm pretty sure he's not coming. Um, I am planning an early finish today just because of the heat and uh, lack of customers basically. So I mean that'd be the plan today, I'll get these last couple of jobs done, we go around, we make sure everybody's happy, settled, fed, watered, um, I've even got the big fan here, look, oh. got the big fan blowing fresh air at the reptiles uh, just to try and keep them cool, but every single tank's off apart from the uh, crocodile skin but I'll uh, I'll double check that he might have knocked his probe uh, out of the way but no I haven't turned any of the lights on I've left them all dark so they're nice and cool but it's just it's meant to be hitting 35 today and it's it's dying in this shop it's so hot it's hotter outside than it is in the shop which is a, a win um, we're at about 30 in here and it's about 35 outside so Oh, we're cooking, but we do have a plan for another job we need to do. So, our Oscars, we're having fights, they are. Not crazy big fights, but I think what's happening is, I'll just turn the lights on so you can see them. What the problem is, this one here is the boss of the tank. So, she goes around telling these ones what for, and usually makes them cower in this corner. But well, what's been happening is they've been panicking by the looks of it and getting caught on the wood as they've been going away. So he's got a mark on his side there. He's got two marks on that one. He's got a little scratch on his side as well. 
This side's all right, but you can see he's got one just there. So yeah, I think what's happening is they're going underneath stuff and getting caught on the little bits of sharp bits of wood. So the idea I've come up with is I've uh, moved these to another tank, which would be quite easy, but it means putting these big Oscars in a smaller tank. It's still a three foot by two foot tank, but I'd, uh, see that's what she's doing. She mouths at them. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. That's what she does. Forces them back into this corner, and then they, when she comes at them in this corner, it makes them go around the wood. So I have been telling her off. Leave them alone. Hey, go on. I've even been uh, just tapping her as well, just to try and get her over there. She does, she stays over there for a good couple of hours then, and then comes back, but what I'm feeling is maybe putting a divide in this tank. So they've got um, half the tank each. So I've got this. So we can cut that down and uh, turn it into a divide for this tank. Question is, can we get it to fit? and will it work? And is it worth the effort of, so I'm basically gonna have what I've got down here. I'm gonna create two three foot tanks. Uh, but it saves me moving the goldfish and stuff out of the way if I put the divide in. But I think it'd be easier just to chuck some more fish in the pond. Let's get this last screw in <clears throat> and we can crack on and uh, finish off the day with checking on the animals and doing walks. What we're gonna do, we do the sail fin. <clears throat> we need to do a big water to make sure she's got enough to swim around in. I did top it up a bit yesterday, but I think it needs a fresh lot, really. We need to do water bowls, dry it up. Yeah, she's destroyed it, so. We'll take that out. No, no, but, 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 but it's not feeding. It's water bowls. So we'll get the water bowl out, food bowl out. We'll uh, freshen them all up, clean them, do a water as a veg, and, uh, and do a swimming pool. Got the bowls out, I got the wood out. We're just going to grab the big tank now. She's down there in this corner. There we go. Water out and it onks. Oh, 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 does it onk? So I just took the tub back in, now we've got to fill it up with water, so I'll go and get the uh, watering can, two or three watering cans, we'll get a nice deep one in there for it today. One, two and three now, so she's got a nice good depth of water. Uh, I've just got a water bowl, I've got a food bowl still to clean, and I've got the log to put back in, so let's do this now. Hey darling, I've got to put, no, back that way, I've got to put your water bowl in. We need to kick off. What are you doing your water bowl, my lovely? Back up. There you go. You silly Billy. You silly Billy. Just put your log back in so you can go in the swimming pool. Oops, sorry darling. Let me hook that round the back of here. There we go. Now I've got to clean that dirty bowl. We go. We've got a lovely mixed veg. We've got her favourite cucumber tomato. She's gonna go. She loves her veggies, and eBay just sent me a notification. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! There we go. She's had a tomato, and she's up and she's off. Lovely, happy lizard. Yeah, it looks like we're not getting no snake today. He might come on another day or something. I don't know, but. Uh, I get a quite a lot of people ringing me up saying they're gonna bring me something and then don't come down. Sometimes stuff happens, stuff turns up and stuff like that. So it's not the end of the world, uh, but I just hope that we, we do get a chance to rescue it if it needs rescuing. Um, <coughs> so that's all the time I've got for today. I have got more stuff to gotta to do before I go. <coughs> so please like, subscribe, comment, and share, ring the bell for me. If you wanna watch another video, there should be one there. If you wanna to subscribe to our channel, it's up there. If you wanna watch a playlist, she's up there. If you wanna support us, there's a link in the description below where you can join the tribe and get yourself some Snake Island merch. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.